hello, welcome back. It is the 31st of December, slightly different New Year's this year, but as you can probably hear from the banging in the background, building work has well and truly begun. We've had the house now for a couple of months. It feels like we've been here a lot, but not much has got done. I think that's just the beginning stages of a reno, maybe, don't know, it's my first one. So far, we've got a structural engineer to understand all the themes for the back of the house and the loft conversion. We've drawn up all of our drawings. We've applied for permitted development. We've spoken to the neighbors about party wall agreements. So all of that's in place. We have just about found a builder. We're just checking a couple of references first before we give that the green light. I've removed all the wallpaper in the house, which was the worst thing I've ever done. Uh, it takes forever and it's horrible. I would recommend buying a house that doesn't have wallpaper, uh, but it's done and that's what counts. Again. Tom, who's over here, Hello. and his dad have been working super hard on getting the house ready for the wall to be knocked down between the lounge and the dining room. I'll let Tom talk us through what's been done. Should we go downstairs? So yeah, we're knocking down a uh, supporting wall. It needs to go through building control uh, to make sure it's up to a safe standard. So this also probably means needing uh, structural calculations to work out what type of beam you need to support all the walls above. Um, and there's basically two options what you can do here. You need to rest two steel posts going up and the beam resting on top. What we're gonna do for a more flush finish is uh, rest the beam on the party wall. Um, then we're gonna have two pad stones here. The pad stones kind of help spread the load throughout the wall. And then the other side, we could also put it on to the party wall, but the beam is over 3.5 meters, meaning we would need a lot deeper beam um, where we'd lose kind of valuable head height here. So what we've done instead is put, we're gonna put a steel post in this partition wall up to where the beam is. Once the post and the beam uh, drilled into place, the load then can spread concentrated down here, but then the load needs to be spread at the end. So what we've got is some concrete foundations. We've used a C35 mix which is, I think, four parts sand to one part cement. And um, that gives it a lot of strength. Um, and there's also some A252 mesh in there, which also reinforces the load. So what we've done so far is I knocked up part of the party walls. So I need the rest on at least 100 mil. Uh, we've also started cutting away uh, part of the ceiling. Uh, this thickness of the ceiling is where the beam will fit in nicely. Or well, the next task is to order the beam in. Once the beam comes in, we're gonna put it in here. Then we're gonna get some acro props. That's gonna support the load above. Um, and then we can start knocking down this wall and installing the RSJ. Lovely stuff. The wood's going up because it helps spread the load along the floor joist above. It spreads along here and goes down the strong boys. So we're using spirit level to make sure it's completely straight. With the strong boys, the rule of thumb is one meter apart. So with strong boys, you can rent them. Um, I think they go for about five pounds, 10 pounds per week uh, per one. Um, but we just found some cheap ones on eBay. And then here's the end goal. Got the strong boys up there. And what this wood is doing is just mimicking what the beam will look like. So you wanna get your beam inside the strong boys so that obviously when the hole is ready and everything's supported, you can just angle, push and slot it in. So what I've been doing is what I do best, uh, getting way ahead of myself. So I've been looking at the stairs and trying to imagine how we want the stairs to look. I'd love to paint them black, but because it's quite a dark house and uh, the hallway is quite simply walking in and straight up the stairs, so there's not much natural light, I think black will be a little bit intense. I've lifted up the carpets and what you can see is the natural floorboards and then where previously they had painted them white and had a stair runner going down, which I think could really work. Um, it also ties quite well into wanting to keep some of the Victorian elements. Sorry, it's pretty dark in here, but what I've done is lift up this and you can see the old floorboards and also where they previously had the white paint and then the stair runner, which is pretty much what we want to do, which is cool. I mean, I'm not sure what we can do with these floorboards. I think it would be really cool to maybe stain them, um, gloss them up a bit. I don't know if that's possible, but I think it could be really nice. I'm also thinking a runner would be cool because we don't have a downstairs bathroom. So all our guests will be coming up the stairs to this bar, well, it won't be this bathroom. It'll be a nicer one, <laughs> but uh, they'll be coming up here. I think the runner kind of leads them up here with the wood and then the proper carpet would begin here onward. All these things I'm looking at and talking about are kind of way, way in the future. Um, I'm not too helpful in the building department, 
but I think it's just a good idea to really get in our heads what we want way before it needs to start happening. A lot of people have told us when it comes to the decoration in the end part, it's just a whole nother array of decisions you have to make. So getting an idea of what we want to do now is a good idea. It also means I can hunt around for the best costs and the best places to get stuff from, which I'll be doing over the next couple of months. You can tell things have got serious when somehow you have a cement mixer in your possession. As you can see, I wasn't joking when I say it now well and truly looks like a building site. I realize I just said I finished wallpaper, but that is not true. It's never over. Right, let me show you. Stupid me didn't look up and all the ceilings are made of wallpaper too. So we've got those to sort and then we also have the rest of this wall. I also got a steamer from Tool Station for I think it was less than 30 pounds and it has actually made the job slightly more bearable. It's pretty cool that you can literally see the different layers of wallpaper that they've had throughout the years. Now considering we've been taking wallpaper off for over a month, I think we are pretty well versed in the best techniques. So the easiest way we found is to create diamond score shapes with whatever you're using to scrape. And then when you steam that particular area, it's getting the steam in all of the different corners so you're able to kind of peel off those diamonds pretty easily. And then I don't know if you can see these little diamond shapes once they've steamed, often they'll kind of come off a lot more easily because the steam has had a chance to get into every single corner. Now, it's not perfect, and you're still gonna have ones that are, as you can see, a little bit more tough to remove, but it is by far the most effective way we found. Happy New Year. It is January 1st, 2021. Uh, the year 2020 is finally over. What have we done? Um, yesterday we finished up the last of the wallpaper. We are just finishing the ceiling in the downstairs now. After that, we are officially done with wallpaper at this house forever. Um, today we are cleaning up. The place is a real mess of everything we've stripped, everything we've torn down. We've kind of not done a clean up yet getting to the stage where we are tripping over ourselves walking around so this needs to be done I think a little bit of a clean in here it's just what we need so we're gonna get started get as much done as we can before it gets dark and I'll check in with you then So it's later and a bit darker, but very clean. All the wood's kept here, tools are kept there. We've got our acro props up, ready for the beam to go in next weekend. Very exciting stuff. Probably only for me. <laughs> and then we've got in here as well, nice and clean. Loads of room for feet to be working, so no longer gearing up to break someone's neck. But we're in, acro props up this side too, beam to be installed, uh, all the spare wood and floor joists there, rubbish, rubbish. And we won't go into the kitchen because that's a dark hole that all the mess has moved into. Lovely. All right, it's freezing, but we're done. As I've probably showed already, the rooms are clean, feeling good, and that's everything. I'll take this off, weird. And that's everything we're going to be doing this weekend. So that is it, part two done. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in watching our work progress, please subscribe, do whatever you can to support. As it's January 1st, I think it's pretty fitting to say a very happy new year. Hope this year is slightly less horrific than 2020, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.